to begin with, what type of home ownership do you have? Are you a renter or a homeowner? Homeowner. Homeowner. And can you describe the structure? What kind of roof do you have? How many bedrooms? One story, two story? It's a one story metal roof. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got four bedrooms. All right. And when did you first move into that house? Approximate date. July of 2002. Okay. So before living in that um, residence, where did you live Like prior uh, to that? Outside of Houston, Texas. All right. So how did you all like came down here? Uh, my family's from, uh, from this area. Okay. So that's interesting. Houston, Texas, outside of it. Rosenberg. Rosenberg, okay. I'm from the Philippines. I got here in 2015. Oh, wow. Moved to go to UGA, and then now I'm the 4-H agent here <laughs> in Cook County. That's awesome. Okay, but unlike you, I am actually renting to own. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I have shingle roofs. So have you ever invested in solar, either on rooftop of your home, on your property, on your business, or as part of a program through your utility? I have not. Have not? Um, why have you not? Honestly, I don't know a lot about solar. Okay. I've always heard it was expensive to start up. Mm -hmm. I knew that there was, you know, good points in having it. It would save you money further down the road, but just the initial cost, okay. I've always heard. Um, how was that decision made for you, like not having a roof, uh, solar energy rooftop? No. Um, who made that decision for you? Like who decided to have, what do you have, a metal yes. roof? Yeah, who decided? You decided that? Yeah, I just figured okay. we had shingles on there, we replaced it with a metal roof. Gotcha. Um, if a rooftop solar was made available to you, do you think you'd be open to adapting it? Uh, I would definitely look at the cost, yes. Okay. And in terms of, you know, being a single family, um, do you think being a single family home versus having multiple families in one home, does that play any role, do you think, in solar energy adaption? Uh, no, I mean, we don't use a lot of energy right now with just being two people in the household. But, so, yeah, I, mean, I think if you've got a family, it might be more pertinent okay. to try to save some money. So, do you have the map of the United States of America in front of you? Mm -hmm. What I need you to do right now, if you can please put a mark there where you think the highest adapters of solar energy are. Like, where do you think they live? California. California, all right. How come you think they're there? Because there are always so green people out there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Very conscious. Okay. Um... How do you think, what kind of people do they are, first of all? Like, what are their jobs, or are they low-income, high-income, moderate-income? High-income. High-income people, you think? Yes. And how di are they more different or similar to people here in Cook County? I would say they're different. Different? Yes. In terms of what? Uh, well, they're higher income, so they got a faster pace of life out there. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I really do think that they're more... Uh, conscious about the earth, earth and solar energy and stuff like that. Um, what about your own social group, like your family and close friends? Do you think they're sim more similar or more different than the people in California? More different. More different. For the same reasons, I would? Yes. Okay. And now, same question, sir, but this time with the map of the state of Georgia. Where do you think the highest adapters of solar energy, where, where do they live? I would say around Augusta. Okay. And what made you say that? Just because, it, again, higher incomes, to me, they're not farmer-based mm -hmm. or agriculture-based. They're all tech-savvy, higher education. All right. And do you think the people there in Augusta are any more different or are more different or more similar than people here in Cook County? And around your own social group? I think, I would say they're, they might be similar, but there is some differences. Mm -hmm. Similar in terms of what, and different in terms of what? Similar as far as family values, mm -hmm. uh, different as far as structure. I mean, we're very laid back down here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got a slow pace of life. Yes, <clears throat> sir. So. Okay, and now, 
for your own friends and family, do you know anybody who has rooftop solar right now? I do not. Or ever? Nope. Ever. Okay.